Hey guys, it's Scrappin' Katie, and today I am bringing you day 10 of Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches. And today's layout features some pretty busy paper and a couple of adorable photos of my daughter. Here is a look at day 10's sketch. And so right off the bat, like I usually do with you guys, is explain what I like about the sketch, which are these circles right here. Now, I won't be using... Um, a circle photo or circular photo but I'm loving the large photo right there I'm also liking the pattern paper for the background and then the uneven strips up at the top and then of course the little design elements that's got some florals and shapes and stuff like that so there is the look at that I am going to be using these adorable little photos of our daughter back in 2016 and then I'm also going to be using um, some Chantilly. This is the sticker sheet, so I'm going to be using a bunch of these stickers to try to kind of knock that out really quick like. And then I'm loving the oversized titles that are perfect for layouts. So let me get my pieces of paper and I will be right back. Here is a look at all that pattern paper. And I am pretty sure I'm going to be using these two for the majority of the pieces and then I may throw in some of this but aren't they just so gorgeous and I love this one so much I may try to find a way to use it but we'll just have to see I've chosen this base page for my layout the other things I did was I cut two kind of uh, slanted pieces of this pattern paper and then I also cut two strips of our new UV coated cardstock that is part of the cardstock carnival so on one side you've got that UV coating can you see that shine and then on the other side you have the lighter color here is a so look at all about. of those colors that you get in the UV coated cardstock combo pack. It's on sale now um, through the end of March 31st, 2022 on my website. I'll leave a link down below so you can go grab some of this fabulous cardstock. So what I'm thinking about doing is adding this down here and then adding this but I don't want it that big so thinking about doing something like that and something like this I'm trying to imagine that right there before I cut it and then if I have her photos right here so yeah, I think I definitely like that. Let me remove these photos. And then the first thing I wanna do is adhere this down to just that regular cardstock the way I want it. And I want a pretty tight, probably like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, adhere this down to my layout base and then just cut off the excess. And I don't want much of that shine. So I'm thinking that. And then I'm actually just going to apply adhesive right here. And I'm going to try and get this yellow piece of pattern paper where I know that when I trim it, it'll be past that edge. Then I can bring this back out and trim this off. Okay, so let's turn this over and see what it looks like. Okay, so I really like that. So I'm going to repeat the process for the top. So I've got that glued down and now I'm going to play with the sticker sheet. So if you recall, there was a sticker up here 
I am going to just remove the sticky from the sticker. And then this was the one that was supposed to be the photo. And I told you guys that I'm just going to use square photos. Showed you what those were. So I think that's going to go right there. And then I've got these two photos and I've got a third photo that's going to go on the flip flap. And I actually did my journaling on my photo when I printed them. Um, I usually print these smaller sizes in collage, um, the collage feature in PicMonkey. And so it allows me to just print my journaling on that blank sheet because I had three photos, not four. So I've got my journaling here. That's what you're going to flip up and view. And this one I want straight. So I am just using the pattern from the B&T to adhere that down. We can remove the journaling. And then of course, as always, I wanna make sure that that zip strip is really good and glued down. And then by having those down, I now can put my other elements in place. So we have that. Let me go ahead and add my journaling. So to line it up, I am just going to tuck it behind this photo and make sure it is the same. And then that should mean that my journaling is fairly straight. Let me turn that over and just make sure on the back side that I've got that really glued down. So I'm happy with that. Again, let's put that back up there and then we can add this one at kind of an angle. And I want to be able to tuck it under but not mess with the journaling. I think I am ready to go ahead and attach this and then we can definitely get that glued down and like I mentioned in my videos earlier this week it's always a good thing the things that you're sure about to go ahead and get in place and that's one last thing you kind of have to fret over and I'm just gonna pull out my scissors and cut this off and my goal is to then use this probably down here. If you recall, there were some other little circular pieces. There was one over here as well. Not sure I'm gonna get that done. So I'm just gonna put that right there for right now. And then let's work on the title. So there's this Be Beautiful. And then there's Full of Smiles, which if you ask me, that is exactly what these photos represent. I mean, she was just cheesing. She and was so I'm out. thinking of putting that there. So until I know for sure, it's always best to just go ahead and take the sticky off of that. For the most part, it doesn't have to be fully removed because I'm not going to use 3D foam tape on this. So I can have that right there. I can have it overlapping that photo just a little bit. Got always my little girl. I've got just so sweet. I like this little option because it's kind of a twofer. That's super cute. Okay, so let's stop right there and then kind of let's figure out what we're going to do right here. So I have these stitched frames that I had cut um, several months ago and I'm thinking about bringing in a square element of those. And then I could also add some embellishment groupings. I applied just a small amount of adhesive 
to the back of this. I'm going to do the same with this just so I can get them tacked down and cut because I think I'm not going to get the full effect unless all the extra is cut off. So we've got that cut. Let's bring this full of smiles back in. So we've got that. And then let's start taking a look at this. So I want those straight. Do you remember the floral pieces that were on the sketch? So I pulled out the in bloom, in full bloom chipboard pieces and it's got these stems and stuff. So I'm going to take all the butterflies away. I'm going to leave the hearts. Got these two. Let me go ahead and pop out these. I love these. They're such a pretty matte black. Okay, so let me play with these for a little bit. We are good to go ahead and get this glued down. I'm going to keep it right there and then I think we are good to go ahead and glue this down. Just trying to see if it would look good somewhere else, which I'd never even thought of because in my mind it just always belonged in that bottom corner. I don't know if you guys do that, but there are just some things that I will play around with and some things that I'm like, nope. I envisioned them going here, so I'm going to make it work. I want this, and I'm basically just trying to make sure that this is straight, which is hard to do when I've got that skewed bottom. So pretty close. The S and the S are straight, and these aren't touching. So that will work for me. And pretty much I'm loving these. So again, I want those straight on the layout. So I'm just going to bring that up. And then put some liquid adhesive under there. And just so, if that's not stuck, I'm going to do this one with 3D foam tape. And I don't want to hide her sweet little face. The other thing I am sure about is this. I am going to add 3D foam tape behind here. And I know you probably have already seen the extra stickers on my anti-static pouch. I just took some of those stickers and tried to decide which ones I really wanted to use. I went ahead and started that process. And I think I'm going to remove this and that's going to be the only little stitched rectangle. And what I might do is actually Maybe double those up. But there is a sticker that says love you more. So I'm going to put that over to the left. And I am going to place a black heart right there. Because remember I talked about bringing the black up here. And while it's not a perfect fit, it is close enough. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, adhesive with that you know I kind of I need to break up all of this lemonade and that's why I decided to go ahead and adhere that one and then I've got these so I'm going to put this back right here I played with some groupings and I finally like this down here but I wanted the leaves to pop up. So I'm only adding pop or 3D foam tape at the very end and the rest are stuck. And then I have some tiny little flowers. 
I originally had up there, but I'm liking them down here. There's just way too much yellow right there. So I'm going to put those right here. And then as far as this one goes, I have this sticker. And I think I'm going to cut the leaves off. And I think I want it kind of look like that. So I've still got this sticker, so I think I'm going to cut the tail off of that one. Let's see how it looks tucked up underneath here. Again, to kind of take off all of that lemonade. And I like that that's kind of going out to the side of the layout. So we've got that. And then now the only other thing I want to work on is... I don't think I need anything here. I think now the black triangle is here. The triangle. And then I, I think I want to do something right there. The only other thing I can think of is adding a floral element up here. You know, I've got flowers and flowers, so I feel like I need one right there. So I've only really got one flower left. I've got these circles that I could kind of tuck in behind that flower. And then, you know, my journaling is already done. I did want to add something at the bottom of that. And I think I'm going to add this cute little zip strip. So I know that my journaling is three inches. So I'm going to bring out my cutter. I'm going to line this up to three inches and then I'm only going to cut and that way I could only pull off that one little piece and everything else can stay intact. And I'm going to just lift that up a little bit but I need to make sure that I'm straight over here and then it goes to the edge. And so that way it kind of gives it the same. I could have moved it down just a little bit more. But these stickers, once they're stuck, they're stuck. So that's going to have to work on that one. And then let's get back to this sticker. So I think I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just trim around the sticker to make it look like it never even had that little stem. I think I'm going to keep it pretty close to the sentiment. I found this one that went to that one and I am performing surgery on it to make it appear like it's supposed to be there. So what if we did that? Maybe just a single black. Okay, that's not gonna work. So I am going to add a date stamp right there. I'm going to use black ink. So if anything, maybe this black down here will make it look okay. I'm gonna try not to get my hair in, this, in the picture. Okay. And I noticed where I had these dots from cake day on my table. Got my white gel pen. I'm going to add just some little marks with these leaves. Okay. I finished it off with some more enamel dots. Now I usually don't like to separate the colors like this. You see where I've used the glacier down here at the bottom and then I have just the lemonade up at the top. But there's just already so much glacier up here. It just didn't look good. So I decided to do that. And then let's bring back out the sketch and take a look and see how I did. So I did the pattern paper and I did the top and the bottom borders. I did some floral pieces. I did basically instead of the three circles, I have the two circles and then this kind of serves as the other circle. But overall, I really like it. All in all, it really, even though it's kind of a busy pattern and it's not as subdued as I wanted it to be, I really like with all the elements how it turned out. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. 
If you liked what you saw, leave me a comment and a thumbs up. That helps YouTube know what you like and they'll show you more of that. And I will leave links down below to any of the products that I used if they're still available. As well as don't forget this glass mat if that's something you're interested in. I do have a coupon code for you. I'll leave that link down below. And then I'll leave all the other YouTube channels that are playing along with Christy's uh, Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. I'll leave those links down below if you want to hop on over to some of those YouTube channels and check them out. And then don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you'll be alerted the next time I post a crafty video. Thanks and have a wonderful Thursday.